Sport Fishing on the Fly is brought to you by Togan's Fly Shop, Maui Jim Sunglasses, and Hardy Rods and Reels. Well, hello everyone. My name is Rick Pasek, fly fish fanatic, and welcome to another episode of On the Bench with Sports Fishing on the Fly. Uh, today I'll be tying a uh, European competition pattern called the Dualbach, uh, Dualbach. I always pronounce it wrong. Um, it is a great little pattern. Uh, you won't find very many competitors planet-wide that don't have this in their in their box if they're hunting trout. Great little pattern. Um, so what you're going to need today is for the hook, I've got a Hens BL. 254N. Now you don't have to use uh, hens, you can use whatever brand you uh, prefer, um, but a nice short, heavy shank, short hook, short shanked hook with a fairly decent gap. Um, for the thread, I'm going to be using Semperfly Classic Waxed in an ADOT pink. Um, for the tail and for the throat, I'm going to be using some black cock hackle. For the body, I'm going to be using some dyed black peacock curl. This is, happens to be the intruder spay hackle. I like this because it's really thin. It's not as uh, as thick as the regular peacock hackle. It's been half stripped. Um, for the rib, I'll be using some Zemperfly floss in red. And then for the cheeks, I'll be using some Zemperfly hot orange goose biots. Okay, so let's get us going. First things first, give it a bit of extra wax just so it sticks really well. I want to start about one, one and a half hook eyes back. More of a target for me because that's where I want to stop with my, uh, with my body. It just gives me a bit of a target so I don't have to really pay attention as closely. And then I'm just open wrap so I'm going to come back up and I'm going to go right to that spot. I'm going to take my hackle, see if I can find a couple of really nice long, long, I want the really long fibers here, it just makes it easier if they're long fibers, right, so there we go, so you got some nice long fibers there, I'm going to hold it out at 90 degrees, and I'm going to go and I'm going to pull out a bunch, a good little bunch there for a tail, you have to stack it up. fell out of my hand so I'll have to do another one that's fine so I'm just going to give it a bit of a stack up right because I do want to I, I, I don't want a huge tail here but I definitely want a, a tail that will be seen right I, I want that little bit of movement in that tail so I got my little tail and I want about the length of the body sticking past so about there Don't worry about if it's sticking forward we can clean that up in a minute. Tie that all on. Come back to your tie-in stop point there. I'm just going to lift that up and cut that all off. Don't worry about if there's a couple of stragglers. It's all going to get covered. Now what I like doing is I like going under the tail and over and under the tail. And when you go un over under, pull it forward towards the front of the hook. And it'll help lift it up come back again just clean that up quickly and again stop there now I'm going to take a piece of that red floss I like this Zemperfly stuff it's nice and thin a lot of a lot of these flosses that are out in the market are a lot thicker but that's again what you want I mean it floss is I mean you can tell how, how it frays and stuff there um, you can get take any brand of floss you like and just cut it in, like they like pull it pull it apart so it's thinner if you want for a rib Come right back to where I tied that tail in, put the floss into my material clip. Then I'm going to take three to four of these black spay hackles, they call them. It's basically all it is, is dyed black peacock. Usually I take of these for the body, for the size of body I like. I like taking four. Um, if I was using the regular peacock curl, and I do, I do because I like that green color as well, um, I'll use three. But these are, you can tell that they're stripped off on one side. So they're, oops, sorry, go back up to the front again. He's trying to keep an even body here, right? So 
Again, I know I'm holding it off to the side like this just so I can see where my tie end point ends, which is there. Come all the way back, grab my four pieces of peacock, and just touching wraps. If it's a little bit of an overlay, that's fine. I just don't want, want this too thick of a body. Stop about there. Tie that once, twice, three times behind, once, twice, three times in front, once behind, once in front, you're good. Off you come. Then I'm going to take my peak, my uh, floss, and I, it's when I come around, if it opens up too much, I'll give it a bit of a twist. I, I want it like fairly, like I want it showing. I just don't want it to take over all of the uh, peacock. All right, and one more just to come up and over. Tie that down. Okay, now at this point, I like just giving it just a bit of a lift up into the into the vise just a little bit okay I'll turn it upside down and now I'm going to put in the throat same material as before I want that uh, that caw cackle so now this doesn't have to be as as thick and as long but again I like tying in uh, several different styles some longer some thicker some thinner so Okay, and I'm going to tie it in longer than I need just by holding it like this, giving it a loose wrap and then a couple of tighter wraps and see where I'm sitting. It's a little on the long side for me, so I'm just going to pull it down just a little bit. A little too much, so I'm going to pull it back out. Undo. It's the nice thing with fly tying, you can always undo, right? So that's about the length I want right there. Again, another loose wrap, catching wrap, get it, three or four wraps to see, that's pretty good right there, cut off that excess, now what I'll do is because I got a little bit right there in the eye, I'll just do it around like that, that'll pull it out of that eye. I'm a real fan of using a lighter later on to clean everything up too. So now I'm just going to flatten this back out again, just a little bit. Now I'm going to take two goose bias and I'm going to lay them along the side and I'm going to lay it. The, I want it right along the side of the hook and I'm going to make it right to the tail, right to the, where the tail starts. It's not that that's what I'm going to keep, but it just, I know then that thickness of the bias is going to be the same where I cut it as the other one, right? So it just gives me a target point. Cut the other one off. And if you've got a thicker by it, like this one is, then just come back a little bit, right? So it's not exactly lined up with the other one. That's fine because you're gonna cut it anyway. Okay, just make sure they're both laying the way I want them. That's about right. So now I'm holding really tight with my thread and I grab a pair of pliers just because I got big clunky fingers and I just give that a tear. Give that a tear. Grab my whip finishing tool. Like I said, I'm a proponent for using a lighter at the end, so I'm not worried about that little piece of uh, peacock that's at the bottom. Just give that a nice little tighten. Now I put some head cement on, but first I'm gonna hold that hackle back and just give that a little bit of a melt All right, there you go so now I will take my scissors and about halfway down the body maybe a little bit more than halfway like closer I will it will cut that goose by it this one actually turned just ever so slightly on me so let's see if I can adjust there yeah I can right there and just roughly there I want it and there is your finished Dwalbach. 
that's it now just a little tab of a little dab of uh, some whatever head cement you like I use uh, usually I use UV resin or a little bit of Sally so that's what I'm going to use now it's just a touch of Sally's all the way around and she's a finished fly so they're great little flies they really really are like I said I'm not kidding when I say that almost all competitors have these in their box they are a deadly little fly um, I tie them in black like this I tie them in with a peacock curl body and a jungle cock eye instead of the, the goose by its I'll tie them in this one here is like yeah, this one's a purple body with a purple pheasant tail I used uh, a purple pheasant tail fiber for the body right um, yeah there's just uh, there's there's several different versions you can tie um, and they're all they're all they all work really 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 well so alrighty well I hope you guys enjoyed that and um, we, I look forward to seeing you guys on the, another episode of On the Bench with Sports Fishing on the Fly. Tie lines! <laughs>